for tutorial. Today, we're going to answer one of your questions. So we have a question on how to create a referral report. So we are going to go straight to the point. The first thing that you need to know is that there are three ways to create a referral report through Google Analytics 4. Two of them can be found inside the interface of Google Analytics 4. And we are also going to go through Looker Studio. So I'm going to show you three different options to create a referral report with Google Analytics 4. The first thing that we need to do for those of you who are watching the video for first time is to like the video and subscribe to the channel. It really helps tremendously to create new content. And as you can see, we can also help to create videos on your specific question. So if you have any question, type it in the comments below. So let's go straight to the point. Option number one, you're going to come to your Google Analytics 4. You are going to go to traffic acquisition. So once you are going to go to traffic acquisition, what you're going to do is you're going to change the dimension from session default channel group to session source slash medium. So once you change the dimension to session source slash medium, then you're going to come here and you are going to filter referral and you're going to press enter. So by doing that, then you are going to get only the referral entries. So now you have the option to go on the top right, click here on share the report and either download the file as a CSV. And then from there, you can crunch this report manually or download as a PDF and share this report directly. So by basically taking the steps, so you got into traffic acquisition, you go to session source slash medium, you change the dimension to session source slash medium, and you type in referral here, you are going to get only a list of referrals coming up. Option number two, you are going to go on the left-hand side and you're going to click on explore. So inside Google Analytics 4, you're going to come here, click on explore. Then you're going to click on the free form option, which is the custom report. So once you click here on free form option, then I'm going to remove everything that we have here. And we're going to build a report that is relevant to referrals. So under the variables column, you're going to click the plus symbol here. And we are going to bring in the session source slash medium dimension. And we're going to click on import. Then we're going to click on metrics here. And we are going to bring the metrics that we want to report on. So I'm just going to insert some metrics as an example. So let's say user sessions, maybe engage sessions, just to give you an example. So I'm going to import these metrics. And now we're going to create this report. So we are going to drag and drop the session source slash medium to rows. So this is going to be our dimension. So we're going to drag and drop it here. Then we're going to drag and drop total users under values. We are also going to do the same with sessions. Perhaps we're going to start with sessions. Then we're going to have total users, maybe engage sessions or any other metric that you want to include, actually. And now you can see here that you have a report that is giving you session source last medium and the metrics that we just selected. Now, obviously, you want only referrals. So this is where we're going to apply a filter. We're going to go under the tab settings and we're going to click here on filters. And we're going to say that we want to filter down to the specific session source slash medium that contains, and then we're going to type here, referral. So we are going to basically say that we want only the sources slash medium that contain referral. And now we have a report basically here that is showing us only the entries that contain a referral. And if you want specific entries, for example, you want only YouTube, for example, or Instagram or LinkedIn or anything, let's say, similar to that, then what you can do is you can apply basically multiple filters and you can say, I want this and this and this and this specific, let's say, source slash medium entries to show up in this reporting table. And from the right-hand side on the top, you can export this data 
as a CSV, Excel file, Google Sheets, PDF, and you can further crunch them or you can share them with your stakeholders. That's the two options inside Google Analytics 4. So to recap, option number one, you're going to go to reports. You're going to go to the traffic acquisition report. And under traffic acquisition report, you are going to change basically the dimension here from the default channel group to source medium. You are going to use the search bar here to filter referral. And you're going to see exactly these entries. Second option inside Google Analytics 4, you're going to come here on the left, click on Explore. You're going to click on Freeform Report, and you're going to follow the steps that we just basically went through. You're going to apply also a filter, and you're going to say, I want to only filter to the session source slash medium that contains referral, and that's it. Third option that is a little bit more client-facing and better, you are going to navigate to Looker Studio here. I'm going to insert a table because this is going to actually make things a little bit more clear. So once you insert the table, then what you're going to do is you're going to change the dimension from the right-hand side to session source or session medium. So let's actually say here session source because what you want to see as you told me in the question is where exactly the traffic is coming from, whether it's Instagram, Facebook, and so forth. And then under the setup column, you're going to scroll all the way down. You're going to click here, add the filter, and we're going to create a filter. We're going to call this filter referral. And we are going to say that this table is going to include only the medium or the session medium, or maybe the session source slash medium, is the same thing basically, but let's say that we want to include only the session medium that contains, and here you're going to type referral and you're going to save. And now we created basically a table here that is going to only narrow down to a referral. Another way to do exactly the same, instead of actually inserting the filter here, is to have a channel selector. So in case you don't know how to do that, you're going to click on insert. You're going to add a drop down list here. And here, when you add this drop down list from the control field, you're going to say that I want to use this drop down list to narrow down to the session default channel group. So from here, let's say you have a table that is going to give you the results of every session source. And then you can also include the metrics that you want, for example, sessions, total users, and so forth. That's up to you. Then you're going to use this drop down menu and you're going to narrow down to referral only. And therefore, now you have a table that actually gives you only referral entries. And then you're going to see sessions, total users, and so forth. Now, you may say, I suspect, for example, that I have another problem. The problem that I face is that when I come here to my Google Analytics 4 and I go into the traffic acquisition report and I look into, let's say, my referrals, the drill down here. So I come here, I look into the source slash medium, and then I look into referral. Then I don't see perhaps the entries that I want to see. So maybe I have traffic that is coming from Instagram, coming from Facebook, coming from LinkedIn. And this traffic is not really labeled as referral. In this case, what you need to do is you need to apply UTM tags. I think I have a video. If I don't have a video, I'm definitely going to make one when it comes to UTM tags and how you can actually apply them. I have a video that is called how to solve unassigned traffic, actually, that is speaks speaks about UTM tags. In your case, if you feel that certain entries are not reported under referrals, or in general, certain entries are actually hard to find here. So you are getting traffic from, let's say, Linktree or something else, and you're get, having a hard time to actually see this traffic in your Google Analytics 4, then what you need to do is you need to go to URL Builder, and you need to apply UTM tags to your landing pages. So let's say, for example, that I'm going to send traffic from my link tree 
to my website. So I'm going to come here. I'm going to say, I'm, I'm going to have a link where the campaign source is going to be, let's say, Instagram. And the campaign medium is going to be referral, or the campaign medium is going to be link tree, for example. And in my link tree, I'm going to use this specific URL as the link. So I'm not going to say that traffic is going to go to sotiriosaridis.com. I'm going to say that traffic is going to go to sotiriosaridis.com, question mark, UTM source equals Instagram, and medium equals link tree. And when people click, they're going to land on this page, which is fully functional. Now, because they're going to land on this page with these parameters inside your Google Analytics 4, under the session source last medium, you will be able to see an entry that is going to be called Instagram, which is the source, slash link tree, which is the medium. And therefore, you, sh you should be able to come here and say, for example, let's actually filter by link tree. And you should be able to do the same basically here. So you should be able to apply a filter inside your Looker Studio that narrows down specifically to this entry. Can you apply filters narrowed down to multiple entries? Because you may tell me now, okay, I want the table that's going to give me everything that has a medium that is called referral and also everything that has a medium that is called link tree and everything that has a medium that is called, let's say, social and so forth. Yes, you can do that. So when you create your filter here, you're going to call it, give it whatever name you want. You're going to say here that I want to filter down to the session medium that contains blah, 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 or contains session medium that contains, let's say, something else, or the session medium that contains something else and so forth. So in this case, you are going to include basically multiple entries in this table. So that's the three different ways to create a referral report in uh, Google Analytics 4. I suspect that your problem is not so much creating the report, but is mostly how the traffic is coming in. So what you need to do as a first step is you need to make sure that when traffic comes in, it comes in using a labeling, meaning a source and a medium, that GA4 can understand and also you can understand and you can retrieve when you change here the dimension to session source slash medium. And that will solve your problem because once you have basically traffic coming in with a certain logic, then you will be able to use one of these three options that I just uh, explained in this short video to create a report. So you can create a report directly in traffic acquisition. You can create a free form report inside Google Analytics 4, or you can create a Looker Studio report. And from there, you can filter down to whatever dimensions you like. That's it for everybody else that has a question. Please type it in the comments. And whenever I have the time, I'll definitely create a video for you as well. Have a great day in any time zone 